uh, we actually get grades the next day after the uh, after the game when we meet up and watch film. Uh, I actually did real good with, as far as grading wise. What did you do well? What was your grade? You know? I just did like the little stuff. Like uh, I was on all my assignments. I did all my assignments right. Uh, I did blocks and all that type of stuff. What's it like seeing with AJ, seeing him go off like that, and maybe how that can impact your role on this team? Uh, it's, it's good for us. Like when he has success, we all have success, and you just try to feed off of it. Once you see somebody else do good, that that pushes you to want to get in and try to do the same thing. You feel like your role is going to progress as every game? Yeah, I think I think like you just you just go with who hot that game. Yeah. And like, like Coach said, we got a running back a committee, so he might have a hot game. Last week, I might have a hot game. This week, it's just about getting in your rhythm. Who can get in their rhythm the fastest? What have you seen from Mississippi State's defense that you know, potentially you guys could exploit or they could do stuff? To you? Uh, I've seen that they real gap sound. They real gap sound. They, they're not a team that had a flow. So they, they, they real disciplined as far as like playing their gaps. And have you kept up with the Jeffrey Simmons incident over at Mississippi State because this is his first game back from the whole domestic abuse thing? Mm -mm. No. You just know they're going to be good. Yeah, I know. Ain't just the, like, the freshman that just came yeah, in or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I remember. Just what's, what's their defensive line doing? I mean, it's SEC size and speed. Do they do anything special other than gap, I mean, gap size? Uh, they don't do anything like too special that other people don't do. They they real big, so we got to get used to it. We just got to beat them up fast and, and, and just dominate them at the line of scrimmage, I feel like, to have our way. Obviously, you know, Vanderbilt's doesn't have the biggest crowds and it's going to be the first test in a really hostile environment. You know, how excited are you for that opportunity? Oh, well, I'm actually excited. I actually experienced it before. This is going to be a first time for AJ. I, I actually played in the Tennessee game last yeah. year and it was so loud. So yeah. I actually been to a couple games where it was actually really loud. Are you prepared for the cowbells? <laughs> well, we actually did that up north when up in Pennsylvania when you uh, make it to like the state, go through the, like the state state playoffs and all that type of stuff. You get out into like the country part and they got like all the bells, the cowbells. <laughs> And all that. You try to like tune it up. Being from Pennsylvania, all your friends excited about the renewal of the uh, Penn State Pittsburgh rivalry this weekend. Anybody talk about it? No, ain't nobody saying that. <laughs> <laughs> First time in like 16 years of playing. Come on. I, re I remember like a long time ago they they like had like that matchup when they were they both in the ACC or something like that or like both in the Big Ten. Both Big, big East, yeah, Big East, Big East, Big East, yeah, Big East. Yeah, big East. Or whatever, but I'm not, I don't really care that He's much about that. He's an SEC country, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want your friends to talk about it. No. no. Yeah. Do you guys feel if you, know, you beat Vanderbilt, you beat Mississippi State, you're 2-0 and and 2-0 in the SEC, do you guys feel like you can get some momentum and possibly go on a pretty big run with a five-game homestand coming up? Yeah, I think that win I think that win coming from Vandy should like give us that confidence this week to go out there and, and give us the confidence that we can go out there and beat the SEC team in the, in the trenches. And also us coming home 2-0, and playing ECU is a, a big confidence booster. So we're just going to try to feed off it every week. This is kind of a sigh of relief event about like, okay, we can actually win these games, we can win close ones like that. Yeah, it's like, it's just one step at a time. You just take it one step at a time. You know we're capable of, of beating people now. You know what I'm saying? Instead of like that last year, you you played in games where it was really close and you just came up short. So hopefully we can be on the op opposite side of that. For that reason, do you think it was as big for you guys that have been around, maybe even more than the newcomers to get kind of get that monkey off your back and just know, hey, we're back to winning again? I think it was just a relief because mm -hmm. we just, we bought into what Coach Muschamp and Coach Roper bought here and it seems like it's paying off. Mm -hmm. So I think that that was a big relief that is actually working and all the hard work we put in. Actually paying off. I'm sorry, just to check, um, AJ Ruffin still one of you and Rod splitting twos, or how's the? Well, it's been work? it's just been me and AJ. Rod been getting it sparely, but yeah. you never know in the game. You, when uh, Brandon was out there, you were mainly with him in the backfield. Is it more? Is that by design where they want a bigger guy with Brandon when he's out there because of his running threat, or is it just the way it happened to work out? That's just how it happened to work out.